A hormone from the Greek participle to arouse is any member of a class of signaling molecules produced by glands in multicellular organisms that are transported by the circulatory system to target distant organs to regulate physiology and behavior. Hormones have diverse chemical structures, mainly of three classes, eicosanoids, steroids, and amino acid, protein derivatives amines, peptides, and proteins. The glands that secrete hormones comprise the endocrine signaling system. The term hormone is sometimes extended to include chemicals produced by cells that affect the same cell, autocrine or intracrine signaling, or nearby cells, paracrine signaling. Hormones are used to communicate between organs and tissues for physiological regulation and behavioral activities, such as digestion, metabolism, respiration, tissue function, sensory perception, sleep, excretion, lactation, stress, growth and development, movement, reproduction, and mood. Hormones affect distant cells by binding to specific receptor proteins in the target cell resulting in a change in cell function. When a hormone binds to the receptor, it results in the activation of a signal transduction pathway that typically activates gene transcription resulting in increased expression of target proteins. Non-genomic effects are more rapid, and can be synergistic with genomic effects. Amino acid-based hormones, amines and peptide or protein hormones are water-soluble and act on the surface of target cells via second messengers. Steroid hormones, being lipid-soluble, move through the plasma membranes of target cells, both cytoplasmic and nuclear, to act within their nuclei. Hormone secretion may occur in many tissues. Endocrine glands are the cardinal example, but specialized cells in various other organs also secrete hormones. Hormone secretion occurs in response to specific biochemical signals from a wide range of regulatory systems. For instance, serum calcium concentration affects parathyroid hormone synthesis, blood sugar, serum glucose concentration affects insulin synthesis, and because the outputs of the stomach and exocrine pancreas, the amounts of gastric juice and pancreatic juice become the input of the small intestine, the small intestine secretes hormones to stimulate or inhibit the stomach and pancreas based on how busy it is. Regulation of hormone synthesis of gonadal hormones, adrenocortical hormones, and thyroid hormones is often dependent on complex sets of direct influence and feedback interactions involving the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal HPA, gonadal HPG, and thyroid HPT axes. Upon secretion, certain hormones, including protein hormones and catecholamines, are water-soluble and are thus readily transported through the circulatory system. Other hormones, including steroid and thyroid hormones, are lipid-soluble. To allow for their widespread distribution, these hormones must bond to carrier plasma glycoproteins, e.g., thyroxine-binding globulin, TBG, to form ligand protein complexes. Some hormones are completely active when released into the bloodstream as is the case for insulin and growth hormones, while others are prohormones that must be activated in specific cells through a series of activation steps that are commonly highly regulated. The endocrine system secretes hormones directly into the bloodstream, typically via fenestrated capillaries, whereas the exocrine system secretes its hormones indirectly using ducts. Hormones with paracrine function diffuse through the interstitial spaces to nearby target tissue. Topic: Introduction Overview Hormonal signaling involves the following steps Biosynthesis of a particular hormone in a particular tissue Storage and secretion of the hormone 
transport of the hormone to the target cells, recognition of the hormone by an associated cell membrane or intracellular receptor protein, relay and amplification of the received hormonal signal via a signal transduction process, this then leads to a cellular response. The reaction of the target cells may then be recognized by the original hormone producing cells, leading to a down regulation in hormone production. This is an example of a homeostatic negative feedback loop. Breakdown of the hormone. Hormone producing cells are typically of a specialized cell type, residing within a particular endocrine gland, such as the thyroid gland, ovaries, and testes. Hormones exit their cell of origin via exocytosis or another means of membrane transport. The hierarchical model is an oversimplification of the hormonal signaling process. Cellular recipients of a particular hormonal signal may be one of several cell types that reside within a number of different tissues, as is the case for insulin, which triggers a diverse range of systemic physiological effects. Different tissue types may also respond differently to the same hormonal signal. Topic: Regulation. The rate of hormone biosynthesis and secretion is often regulated by a homeostatic negative feedback control mechanism. Such a mechanism depends on factors that influence the metabolism and excretion of hormones. Thus, higher hormone concentration alone cannot trigger the negative feedback mechanism. Negative feedback must be triggered by overproduction of an effect of the hormone. Hormone secretion can be stimulated and inhibited by other hormones stimulating or releasing hormones plasma concentrations of ions or nutrients as well as binding globulins neurons and mental activity environmental changes e.g. of light or temperature one special group of hormones is the tropic hormones that stimulate the hormone production of other endocrine glands for example, thyroid stimulating hormone TSH causes growth and increased activity of another endocrine gland, the thyroid, which increases output of thyroid hormones. To release active hormones quickly into the circulation, hormone biosynthetic cells may produce and store biologically inactive hormones in the form of pre- or prohormones. These can then be quickly converted into their active hormone form in response to a particular stimulus. Icosinoids are considered to act as local hormones. They are considered to be local because they possess specific effects on target cells close to their site of formation. They also have a rapid degradation cycle, making sure they do not reach distant sites within the body. Topic. Receptors Most hormones initiate a cellular response by initially binding to either cell membrane-associated or intracellular receptors. A cell may have several different receptor types that recognize the same hormone but activate different signal transduction pathways, or a cell may have several different receptors that recognize different hormones and activate the same biochemical pathway. Receptors for most peptide as well as many eicosanoid hormones are embedded in the plasma membrane at the surface of the cell and the majority of these receptors belong to the G-protein coupled receptor class of 7-alpha helix transmembrane proteins. 
The interaction of hormone and receptor typically triggers a cascade of secondary effects within the cytoplasm of the cell, described as signal transduction, often involving phosphorylation or dephosphorylation of various other cytoplasmic proteins, changes in ion channel permeability, or increased concentrations of intracellular molecules that may act as secondary messengers, e.g., cyclic AMP. Some protein hormones also interact with intracellular receptors located in the cytoplasm or nucleus by an intracrine mechanism. For steroid or thyroid hormones, their receptors are located inside the cell within the cytoplasm of the target cell. These receptors belong to the nuclear receptor family of ligand-activated transcription factors. To bind their receptors, these hormones must first cross the cell membrane. They can do so because they are lipid-soluble. The combined hormone receptor complex then moves across the nuclear membrane into the nucleus of the cell, where it binds to specific DNA sequences, regulating the expression of certain genes, and thereby increasing the levels of the proteins encoded by these genes. However, it has been shown that not all steroid receptors are located inside the cell. Some are associated with the plasma membrane. Topic. Effects Hormones have the following effects on the body. Stimulation or inhibition of growth wake sleep cycle and other circadian rhythms mood swings induction or suppression of apoptosis programmed cell death activation or inhibition of the immune system regulation of metabolism preparation of the body for mating fighting fleeing and other activity Preparation of the body for a new phase of life, such as puberty, parenting, and menopause. Control of the reproductive cycle. Hunger cravings A hormone may also regulate the production and release of other hormones. Hormone signals control the internal environment of the body through homeostasis. Topic. Chemical classes As hormones are defined functionally, not structurally, they may have diverse chemical structures. Hormones occur in multicellular organisms plants, animals, fungi, brown algae and red algae. These compounds occur also in unicellular organisms, and may act as signaling molecules, but there is no consensus if, in this case, they can be called hormones. Topic. Animal Vertebrate hormones fall into three main chemical classes. Amino acid derived, examples include melatonin and thyroxine. Peptides, polypeptides and proteins. Small peptide hormones include TRH and vasopressin. Peptides composed of scores or hundreds of amino acids are referred to as proteins. Examples of protein hormones include insulin and growth hormone. More complex protein hormones bear carbohydrate side chains and are called glycoprotein hormones. Luteinizing hormone, follicle-stimulating hormone and thyroid-stimulating hormone are examples of glycoprotein hormones. Icosinoids, hormones derived from lipids such as arachidonic acid, lipoxins and prostaglandins. These hormones are produced by cyclooxygenases and lipoxygenases and there are many drugs that include the NSAIDs like ibuprofen and naproxen which affect the activity of the cyclooxygenases and inhibit the formation of these eicosanoid hormones. Steroid, hormones derived from cholesterol. 
Examples of steroid hormones include the sex hormones estradiol and testosterone as well as the stress hormone cortisol. Compared with vertebrates, insects and crustaceans possess a number of structurally unusual hormones such as the juvenile hormone, a sesquiterpenoid. Topic: Plant Plant hormones include abscisic acid, auxin, cytokinin, ethylene, and gibberellin. Topic: Therapeutic use. Many hormones and their structural and functional analogs are used as medication. The most commonly prescribed hormones are estrogens and progestogens as methods of hormonal contraception and as HRT, thyroxine as levothyroxine for hypothyroidism and steroids for autoimmune diseases and several respiratory disorders. Insulin is used by many diabetics. Local preparations for use in otolaryngology often contain pharmacologic equivalents of adrenaline, while steroid and vitamin D creams are used extensively in dermatological practice. A pharmacologic dose or superphysiological dose of a hormone is a medical usage referring to an amount of a hormone far greater than naturally occurs in a healthy body. The effects of pharmacologic doses of hormones may be different from responses to naturally occurring amounts and may be therapeutically useful, though not without potentially adverse side effects. An example is the ability of pharmacologic doses of glucocorticoids to suppress inflammation. Topic. Hormone behavior interactions At the neurological level, behavior can be inferred based on, hormone concentrations, hormone release patterns, the numbers and locations of hormone receptors, and the efficiency of hormone receptors for those involved in gene transcription. Not only do hormones influence behavior, but also behavior and the environment influence hormones. Thus, a feedback loop is formed. For example, behavior can affect hormones, which in turn can affect behavior, which in turn can affect hormones, and so on. Three broad stages of reasoning may be used when determining hormone behavior interactions. The frequency of occurrence of a hormonally dependent behavior should correspond to that of its hormonal source. A hormonally dependent behavior is not expected if the hormonal source or its types of action is non-existent. The reintroduction of a missing behaviorally dependent hormonal source or its types of action is expected to bring back the absent behavior. Topic. Comparison with neurotransmitters There are various clear distinctions between hormones and neurotransmitters. A hormone can perform functions over a larger spatial and temporal scale than can a neurotransmitter. Hormonal signals can travel virtually anywhere in the circulatory system, whereas neural signals are restricted to pre-existing nerve tracts. Assuming the travel distance is equivalent, neural signals can be transmitted much more quickly in the range of milliseconds than can hormonal signals in the range of seconds, minutes, or hours. Neural signals can be sent at speeds up to 100 meters per second. Neural signaling is an all-or-nothing digital action, whereas hormonal signaling is an action that can be continuously variable as dependent upon hormone concentration. Topic: <inaudible> Binding proteins. 
Hormone transport and the involvement of binding proteins is an essential aspect when considering the function of hormones. There are several benefits with the formation of a complex with a binding protein. The effective half-life of the bound hormone is increased, a reservoir of bound hormones is created, which evens the variations in concentration of unbound hormones bound hormones will replace the unbound hormones when these are eliminated. Topic. Discovery. The discovery of hormones and endocrine signaling occurred during studies of how the digestive system regulates its activities, as explained at secretin section discovery. Topic. See also. Hormones portal.